Madeline and I were Girl Scout leaders, and our daughters are the same age, so we have a, a long time relationship. Neither one of us had any idea that we'd still be doing this at this stage of the game. Sort of like marriage. <laughs> Back. <laughs> I never would have thought 50 years ago of them what was going on. So it's one of those things. You get into it and it works for you. It was started by a woman whose mother was sick and she wasn't able to be there every day to take her lunch. And so she asked some friends at her church to help her out, and they did. And from that, several other people said, well, you know, my mother needs help too. And that developed into a ministry. What now is the new focus is the realization of how much the elderly depend, not just on the food, but on contact, on seeing a person, on having a conversation, on knowing that somebody really is interested in how you are today. And the more you come, the more a lot of them open up. A lot of them really get, get to be your friends. And we look forward to seeing them. She is so nice. She comes here and she always saying encouraging words and always happy and talks about the dogs and all. But yeah, she is such a lovely person. I'm telling you, I say, now look at her age, how she is getting around helping me, and I'm young, I can tell. But I appreciate everything that Meals on Wheels is doing. I would add, it's very um, satisfying because you got up and got your clothes on and delivered the meals. You know somebody had lunch. You know that they had personal contact with somebody. And it's a very um, personally rewarding and satisfying way to serve. Um, it connects you with your community. People are people. They're nice. And if you're giving a nice to them, this is a really wonderful way to, s to spend time with somebody that you're crazy about and do something good for somebody else at the same time. It's a win-win. Right. They do get a lot of it. I mean, there's some that we have had for 20 or 30 years. We both kind of started about 40 years ago and we don't know any other way to do Wednesday other than this. We don't go to luncheons. We we refuse to go to events that take place on Wednesday because this is what we love to do. So much I was me. telling him, you used to be a teacher. Yes. For 34 years. Right. And went to school hall. Mendenhall. That's in, right. In Wellswood. Right. That's right. Did you live here? Yes. All yes. that time. Yes. So you've been here. And I still have kids that call me and come oh. over and see me. I'm sure. Yes. You must. Seventy. They're, they're seventy-five years old. Right. When I taught for. I know. That you know you don't feel old, but when you hear how when I hear thing, that, then you do <laughs> feel old. Right. right. Good so, to see you. And same Thank you. here. Thank you very Good. much. I think all of us are hesitant to put ourselves in situations where we're not safe or we're not sure what we're supposed to be doing. Everything is figured out for you. The food is packaged, the route is printed out. Um, you know exactly where you're going, you know how long it's gonna take. And so it's not that I've gotta figure this all out by myself. I don't have to deal with money, I don't have to deal with anything, except saying, have a good day. <laughs>